We are still in shock. We're still mourning. Friends and community members trying to heal after losing Mamadou Kaba. It's unbelievable. We are still in disbelief. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Some people still don't want to believe the fact that it's, yeah, it's, it's true. The father of five was shot seemingly at random while sitting in his car in Renton on January 12th. He died in the hospital two weeks later. His death sending shockwaves through the community. I broke down when I uh, got the news. I got a call from uh, one of my friends here and uh, I just hung up the phone. I couldn't believe it. It's like a dream to me. Kaba is one of three men shot during a shooting spree spanning three different locations in Renton and SeaTac, all in under an hour. The suspected shooter was arrested shortly after on I-5 in Tacoma. Police say he had no known connection to the victims. Court documents show during an interview with police, the suspect said multiple times he did not like black people. The three victims he's accused of shooting are black men. I have never met anybody more humble than him. Kaba was a beloved member of the West African community and an activist. He was one of the first people in Seattle to testify in protests for rideshare workers' rights. His friends describe him as a hardworking family man who would help anyone in need. It's going to take us a long time to uh, digest the kind of person that we lost. A loss, immeasurable to fill. We miss him. We cannot fill his gap. Only Allah can fill it. And last report, one of the two other victims is in the ICU. The other is out of the hospital recovering. The suspected shooter is said to have an arraignment tomorrow morning where new charges are expected to be addressed.